Okay, Philip here. Um, next to me is uh, Arno, uh, who is on board the uh, brand new Dela 31 design. It's nice to see you here, Arno. Thanks for taking a talk to us. Thank Arno, um, is this your first silver rudder? Yes, that was the first uh, silver rudder and the first time I'm sailing on this boat. Mm -hmm. I, was quite, I was quite interested in that boat, so I decided to charter it. It's the simplest way to, to learn more about a boat. Um, so I visited the boat on the boat show in Dusseldorf and I, Martin anyway, who is uh, working for the charter company, is a very old friend of mine. We sailed 30 years ago already together. So we start talking about it and I said, okay, the best thing is uh, you come here, sail a race. I'm racing since since ever, yeah. but never on such a boat, no. and uh, it's the first time single-handed, mm -hmm. finally. Oh, it's your first time racing single-handed, and then on a boat you've never raced before. Yeah. That's great. So I've got to ask, uh, everybody's talking about this boat. I love the look of it. <clears throat> I like what I see. It looks amazing. Does it live up to your expectations? I mean, you've got a third place in the, uh, in the small class, which is a very hard class. <clears throat> So first of all, yeah, definitely it's, it fulfills my expectation, no question on that. Um, it's a very good looking boat, yeah, but uh, the most important thing for me, well, how it, it tends my, my interest is that finally, if you look to the hull shape, especially to the bow area, all that, it looks like a little bit uh, to, to an Imoka uh, Open 60, yeah. yeah, that new generation, very, a lot of volume in the front, very aggressive looking, uh, not too much freeboard. And um, so as these boats are boats which I personally like very much. I, I wanted to, to, to try a small Imoka 60. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you can't buy an Imoka 60 and drive it around your back garden or in, Germ in the German waters. What's the draft of an Imoka 60? I think it's about four, four meters. Yeah, that's right. And well, this one uh, with a canter heel. This one has a draft of two meters and 20. But the keel doesn't cant on this, does it? No, it's a fixed keel. Boat is very well um, um, stabilized. Uh, we have water ballast on each side, something like, I'm not absolutely sure, I think it's 180 liters uh, on, on each side, um, which I only used um, last, uh, no, in the first night. Uh, for let's say two hours on, on the north end. The head of Fune, yeah. North yeah. Of Fune, yeah. 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 On, the, on that long leg uh, to the west. Um, beside that, no. The boat seems to be quick. Um, it runs, uh, especially yesterday evening, I had a very good run with uh, Code Zero in light wind um, situation with the code. That was just amazing. That makes finally me uh, arriving on the third place. Mm -hmm. Um, I cannot tell you too much about um, yeah, the, the high performance in, in, in strong wind conditions because <laughs> there was no wind. Now we've only had, for yeah. those of you who haven't followed the race, we've only had a maximum of three or four meters, five, maybe five, let's, I better do this in knots, maximum ten knots of wind up through the, uh, the Great Belt yesterday. So you can only speak about its light wind performance, yeah? yeah. 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 But that was satisfactory? Definitely, yes. Um, there are... The deck layout is well well designed. Everything is where it should be. Mm -hmm. Only the tiller was too short. So if you are sitting against the sea fence, um, or you need longer arms than I have, or a longer tiller, um, that's the only thing. No, besides that, everything is fine. Okay. Um, that one is uh, the prototype. That is hull number one. All right. uh, so there are some details, especially inside, which are not perfect, but which are, as far as I know now, in in uh, in series, which are. Dis which disappeared. Yeah. 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 Okay. So, uh, would you recommend this boat to a uh, another silver rudder racer next year? Yes, definitely. Yes, I think the nice thing is with that boat compared to some of the competitors is that you still can use that boat uh, for family sailing, mm -hmm. and not not only camping on water, but let's say next step already. It's not luxury yachting, but nice sailing with two three people. It's possible. So you say this could be used as a, as a family, a very, very fast family cruiser, yeah? Yeah, which gives Lou a lot of fun. Okay, I better explain that to my wife because I'm on the market for a new boat. <laughs> okay, thanks very much for talking to us today. You're welcome. We hope you'll come back again to the Yeah, I hope so too. Thank great. you very much. Bye-bye.